Hi, this is Kenny Shea speaking. Um, I'm from the National United University Department of Energy Engineering. Uh, in this section, we are going to talk about the application and the basic principle behind the rotating ring disk electron. In this uh, this section, we we'll talk about the the rotating ring disk electron. We add a ring inside here, they call the called RRD, and then see how the application, the basic phenomenon behind the rotating ring disk electron. The over here, the ring disk electron over here, the on the disk and then the ring on the side. So on the disk elect on the disk, and the oxygen may be diffused from the outside and then onto the disk. That means that the oxygen may be from outside the bulk diffused on the disk, and this reaction taking place, and the K1, K2, and the K3. The intermediate hydrogen peroxide may be swept away, uh, may be diffused out as part will be swept away, and then detect on the ring. So the, the, the hydrogen peroxide may be swept away, and then the amount of hydrogen peroxide Peroxide may be detected on the ring. The ring electrode is holding at a potential where the hydrogen peroxide was reduced into the water. So the mass transfer rate for here we can say is a JM2 if it depends on rotating speed and it depends on the gap and then the width of the ring and, and so on. So from the mathematical model, we can evaluate the J1 is equal to the how, how much the K1 going to here. And then the J2 equal to the uh, material mass around the hydrogen peroxide, the generation of hydrogen peroxide K2 times the CO2 here, and then with the consumption K3, K3 times the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. And then the consumption of hydrogen peroxide is a K3CH2O2. The mass transfer rate of the, the oxygen is a JM1 equal to, equal to KM1 plum. Because of this one, the mass transfer coefficient, we take the omega dependence outside the equation, the parameter. So this one becomes Km1 plum here, and also depends on concentration difference. And the Gm2, the same, we take the omega out, and then the concentration of hydrogen peroxide here. So the disk current and the ring current can be represented by this equation, and then this uh, uh, reaction rate uh, for the J1, J2, J3, and the J4, J1 is a four electron transfer, so we can times a four. J2 is a two electron transfer, and the J3 is uh, also two electron transfer. For the ring current, it's a from the mass transfer. How much the hydrogen peroxide was transferred to the ring, and then this is a two electron transfer, so I time two over here times and collection coefficient, the n here. We end up with this equation. Here, the n is a collection coefficient. It depends on, because the hydrogen peroxide generated on the disk, uh, only a fraction of the H2O2 was detected on the ring. So there's a fraction, there's a, a factor over here. This n is depends on how the width of the ring and the width of the gap and then the diameter of the disk. So that depends on geometry of the ring disk. Uh, this one you can find the from the manufacturer uh, when they provide with the specific configuration of electron or from the textbook you can find the n as a function of ring gap and the disk uh, dimension. This one with this bunch of equation, we end up with this um, parameter over here. If we divide by ID, divide by IR, then you got you, you plot uh, this uh, as a function of omega, one half. Then you end up with the intercept and the slope. Let's see how this equation can be applicable for relation kinetic study. This one, um, you can, you, you might end up with a different plot here. Uh, for for instance, um, if you had a plot uh, like ID over IR, plot against omega minus one half, ID over IR, plot against omega minus one half here. The, if we intercept over here is one over N, that means the X equal to zero. 
if x equal to 0, that means k1 equal to 0 here. And uh, the slope is equal to 0, is flat. So even the x equal to 0, you had to be the k3 equal to 0 in order to make the slope equal to 0. So if uh, you, you plot id over ir against omega minus 1 half, if you come out result like this, this tell you k1 and k2, k3 equal to 0. That means only the K2 is not equal to zero. So the oxygen only reduced to hydrogen peroxide. This probably <coughs> for the oxygen reduction in the alkaline median, alkaline solution, and the, the electrode is graphite. Usually this will happen. The case two, the case two, if you plot the ID over IR against omega minus one half, you end up with the intercept as a function of potential. So the intercept is not equal to 1 over n, is a function of potential. That means x not equal to 0. That means k not equal to 0. But the, the, all the line is a horizontal. That means the slope equal to 0. The only possibility is k3 equal to 0. So this will give you a conclusion. The ratio may go to the 4 electron transfer or 2 electron transfer into hydrogen peroxide. But the hydrogen peroxide will not go to the a K3 process. If the K3, the K3, if you plot the ID over I against this, you end up with all the intercept at 1 over n. That means x equal to 0. That means k1 equal to 0. But the slope is not equal to 0, and it depends on the potential. That means k3 is not equal to 0. So the ratio path for this is like this. Only k1 equal to 0. So oxygen will be reduced to hydrogen peroxide and hydrogen peroxide will reduce to water. This will happen for the gold electron. Probably this uh, process will keep going this way. But uh, the case four, both the intercept is a function of potential. This means x not equal to zero. And the slope also changes as a function of potential. This means k3 is not equal to zero. So the all the k1, k2, to K3 is not equal to zero. So this one will tell you uh, the ration goes through all the three ration. This happened for the platinum uh, in the acidic medium. In the practical, uh, this is a practical experimental data over here. So if we um, make a um, material balance for the oxygen species, then the diffusion diffusion for here and then the consumption for k1 and k2 that's mean the consumption of the oxygen species from the g1 to j2 over here the consumption so for if you then make us at a steady state the diffusion rate equal to the consumption rate of the oxygen species g1 plus j2 so with this equation in mind you can get the the, the data here The CB over CO2 on the surface, you end with this. And uh, you can further reduce into this equation. This equation is a, uh, uh, if you plot the I limit for this term against omega 1 half, you might have the intercept with 1 and the slope with K1 plus K2. This is a typical experimental result of oxygen reduction on the platinum disk in the TMF, TFMSA this electrolyte and um, you can see if we hold the electro rotating speed at 400 rpm and then the electro potential goes through the linear scanning voltammetry at a very slow reaction sway scanning rate gradual from one volt gradual change to 0.2 volt here then i run the second experiment i change the electro rotating speed to 900 then I run another experiment here, and so on. I run at a different ro electro rotating speed. You can see at a, a lower, uh, high, at a, this potential region, running at a different rotating speed, they are independent of electro rotating speed. So in this region, it's a kinetic control region, and in this region, the flat, the curve is flat independent of electro potential. So this region is a mass transfer 
control the region. And in this region, it's a mixed control. Kinetic and mass transfer mix control the region here. The electro routine speed I keep at 400, 900, 1600. The reason I choose this because when you take a square root of omega, this one becomes 20, 30, 40, 50. So you end with equal space limiting current. It looks much better this way. This is not particularly. So if you, if you plot based on this equation, Based on this equation, you plot this turn against omega minus one half here. You end with at the different electrical potential here. You end with a linear plot with the intercept at the one here. And the slope will be function of potential VK1 or K2. But unfortunately, if for the disk alone, we cannot get the separate K1 and K2, we need the uh, we need uh, uh, this uh, ring electro. So with the ring electro over here, the ring electro over here, this is this current here, and then this is the ring ring current we detected here. The ring current actually you can see it goes to a maximum somehow around this region. You have to notice the ring current is in the mini amp region, and then the, ring, the disk current, and the ring current is in the micro amp region. That means that a very, only tiny amount of ring, the hydrogen peroxide will detect on the ring. By, um, by doing, uh, so this one, we can by this equation, and this is actually experiment data. So from here, we can evaluate the K1, and then K2 and then K3 over here. And then this regression uh, rate, K1 and K2, plot against the uh, electrical potential. So with the rotating ring disk, not only we can determine the regression pass, we also can calculate K1, K2, K3, the regression rate constant from those uh, uh, the data over here. <coughs> 